Hello there, I'm John Greasley. Uh, welcome to our tutorial on mutable values within F sharp. Uh, in the previous tutorial, in this instance, uh, we looked at normal values and uh, the fact we couldn't actually uh, change the uh, value of a value once we've defined it here. Uh, we we receive this message, this value is not mutable. Uh, before we used a string, but now we're using an integer. Um, if we uh, just remove this line here and execute the program, we're just outputting 5, and that's the uh, value of our value really here. Now, um, Obviously, I did mention briefly before, F# -sharp doesn't use types, so we don't have to say it's a string or an int. We can simply use five, and F# -sharp will work out that it's an integer. Quite nice. So um, we now wish to modify the value of this value. So to do this, we use a keyword called mutable. This ensures that our values are mutable for the rest of the life cycle uh, of the application, really. So once we've defined this as mutable, uh, we can then change its value to really whatever we like. So if we execute the program now, we'll get the value 8. It's because we've defined it as 5, then changed it as 8. If we output the uh, value before we set it to 8, we should, if I put this on a new line, that would make it a little more clearer, we should output 5, then 8. Because we're really writing out the value once we defined it, change the value, writing it again. And this will get both values before and after it's been changed. Now, more importantly, um, other than how this uh, keyword works, is that, well, why do we as a developer have to explicitly type in mutable as a keyword within F sharp? Why can't this line alone allow us to mutate a value? I mean, in C sharp it does, C++ we don't need mutable. Um, what we do in those languages, we have something what's called a constant variable where we define it as a constant if we wish to make it read only. In F sharp it seems like it's the other way around. It's read only unless we make it mutable. Now, uh, if you think why we use constant variables in other languages, well, constant variables ensure that a user does not modify the state of this variable or value. If you have a constant function it ensures the function doesn't change uh, say like a value in some way, shape or form. And looking at software, bugs occur when we're trying to modify say a, a constant variable or say if we uh, have a constant well variable which doesn't get changed and therefore it should be constant um, just because uh, the performance would be higher and there's no allocation for potentially main uh, well mutating the value at some later stage so if we by default uh, allow a user not to modify a value we would prevent these classes of bugs where we're changing values we don't want to change therefore well, it would make sense if we want it mutable, then we know for a fact we will be changing these values throughout the application. Um, also, if you've dealt with threads before, um, now threads are just really a, an instance, uh, say, it could be a program, it could be a portion of a program, um, running at the same time as itself. Uh, or another item. So if we have, if you look at all these later computers now have dual core processors or quad core, it allows for two to four things running simultaneously. And threading um, can uh, 
imitates this where one thing can run at the same time as another on what's on what's called a different thread and um, it's actually inherently thread safe and prevents certain classes of these bugs where threads are concerned also so um, with us specifying mutable as an extra keyword we're actually preventing us as a human user uh, giving us less room to make error and uh, generate bugs throughout our F sharp programs um, so this is why we use mutable as an extra keyword really in F sharp so um, uh, that is uh, mutable values in F sharp uh, I'm Sean Greasley thank you for listening